Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here doing another troubleshooting video inspired by my mom who asked me this question today and that is how do you see a list of dates once you set up a recurring event in your Outlook calendar? So for example, let's say today I want to set up a recurring event. So I got a new appointment. So right click and then new appointment and then I just call it um, basketball training and I want to go to that every three weeks so let's go to recurrence let's go to once every three weeks and let's say I want to have no end date so I'm gonna keep going forever so click OK click save and close so now I have this basketball training every three weeks. Now, what if I want to print a list of these dates and send it to my teammate? So what you have to do now is you have to go to file, export, open and export and choose um, import export. And then you're going to choose export to a file. So what we're going to do now is export it to a file that we can look at in Excel. So choose common, comma separated values. And then select a folder to export from. Make sure you choose your calendar. So in my case, this it's already highlighted. Okay. This actually says calendar in Chinese, but it should say calendar for you. Make sure you click that folder that says calendar click next and now you choose a file name where you want to export the dates so I'm just gonna choose uh, I'm gonna call it test 5 and save it on my desktop so then you're gonna click next um, just click next again to finish again now here's very important the date range so because I want to make it really obvious I'm gonna make it to 2018 so you can see all my basketball training dates click OK so now it's exported it so now you can see this file test5.csv right if I double click on that it should open up all the dates in Excel right basketball start date end date start time end time and you can delete all of these other ones that you don't need. All right, so these are the list of dates. Now you might say, well, what if I have a whole range of other events? So let's say I have some other training, all right? Let's put in here um, tennis training. And then I've got reoccurrence for that. I've got. Um, every five weeks and then let's say I've got um, another one let's say I have touch training um, touch training and I've got oops getting a bit slow right now just wait for it touch training and then recurrence, let's put down every 10 weeks. So I got all these events. Um, what if you export it and they're all mixed up together? So what I do is I change the view of my calendar to list view. And you can see you can assign different categories. So I'm going to right click on these categories. I'm going to have a blue one, a right click, a green one, and a red one. Okay, so I put them in different categories so that if I save it again, file, open export, import export, and I export it to a file, CSV file, calendar. Let's do it test 7.csv finish 2018. 
Okay, and you you can see that they are all mixed together. So if I open up test seven, you can see. Actually, it's already it's already sorted them. How cool is that? It's already sorted the basketball, put the basketball together, put the tennis together. But if they're not sorted, then you could simply get rid of all this stuff. Okay, and just have the categories. So highlight these, get rid of them, and just have the categories here so that you can sort according to the categories. So highlight them and choose sort, custom sort, and sort by the categories A to Z, and then you should be able to see all your uh, events uh, sorted using the categories. Okay, I hope this helps you guys get the dates out of your Outlook calendar. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.